my intuition is that um and I, this always sounds like a cop out when you say it and i hate when people say it but i do think it's kind of true when it comes to nutrition is um there's so much heterogeneity between individuals both genetically and environmentally that we have to release our agenda from this idea that there is a perfect diet for everybody even even never mind health even when it comes to weight maintenance let's keep let's pick a simpler variable which is nothing but a subset of health weight maintenance as a as as one piece of the health puzzle it strikes me as impossible to suggest that there is a true diet that is good for everybody. I think that again, based on the person's genetics and their own living evolution, i.e. their epigenetics and their environment and other factors, psychological factors, which of course can be quite genetic, um, that there are either several or few dietary options that are easiest for a person to adhere to to maintain weight balance. And I think that carbohydrate restriction, especially extreme carbohydrate restriction, happens to be one of the more efficacious ways for individuals to restrict something in the larger service of restricting calories. Because at the end of the day, whatever you choose to restrict, whether it be certain macronutrients, alcohol, the time during which you allow yourself to eat, or just directly the number of calories, some form of restriction is necessary for weight balance in an infinite food environment, which is the one that we have now found ourselves living in for the past 0.01% of our genetic existence as a species. So it's a very, it's a very new problem that we have to be so surrounded by infinite nutrition and therefore it requires some degree of restriction and you just have to pick the pick your poison do you want to directly restrict calories we're going to talk about that that's the calorie study do you want to pick do you want to restrict the timing in which you eat we're going to talk about that as well that's time restriction make a smaller and smaller eating window or do you just want to pick some boogeymen within the diet and say they're the bad guys i don't eat fat i don't eat carbs i don't eat animal protein i don't eat whatever and if i do that enough I'm going to also restrict energy intake. And, and, and so, so that's not a very satisfying answer, right? I think people want to believe that there is one perfect diet, one perfect way, but I just don't buy it. 